I'm Charlotte Greenwood and I'm an artist. Where did it all start with portraits? Hmm. It all ties into the last series I did, which was about consumerism. So I thought, okay, let's see if I can talk about similar issues, but from a different angle. I was asking myself, what's important to somebody at the end of a life? And what do you take with you? And you don't have any of these materials. The last things that you think about are the experiences that you've lived with the people that you shared your life with and your friends and with people that are really special to you and people that have influenced you and taught you life lessons. And so I thought, okay, well, why not use my autobiography as a vehicle to illustrate this point? So basically all these portraits that you see on Facebook and in my studio, they're all part of a project that I've called You. to tell my life story uh, by drawing a hundred people in my life that I've met and I've shared special moments with and also who've taught me special important things in my life. It was like an intertwining of my story and their story. Apart from genetics and environmental influences, our life experiences play a big part in, in who we are. And this is what brings us happiness at the end of the day, not materials. And it's what fascinates me about people. It's their stories and what brings them to this present moment. The older I get, the more aware I am, I guess, of, uh, of being able to capture somebody's essence on a piece of paper. I can see that I'm able to do that and I'm starting to tap into that as I go through these portraits. How it manages to manifest is just the time that I spend with the person while I'm drawing with them. I think that's a really important part of, of the portrait creation process is, is a spending time with that person. This particular project that I'm working on at the moment, I've never met this woman and I got to know a bit about who she is and uh, her life story through her husband. And uh, the lady, actually, she's passed away, so I'll never get to meet her. So I'm really having to look carefully at the, the photo references that I've been provided with and try, and try and see who she is through her expressions and to get a sense of the essence of the person. We as humans, we have this capacity to understand emotion and understand character through these tiny little nuances of expression. I think that's the essence of beauty really, is how we can understand these, these little nuances just through instinctive appreciation. The concept of beauty for me, when it comes to people, it's not about the hair, the clothes and all that, but rather about the story of who they are. That's what makes a great portrait of someone.